Anything herein that sounds legally actionable is a statement of opinion. I'll lay out the facts, with receipts, and you can decide for yourself if TryHackMe's advent of cyber is a scam. Huh, Cyber Spaceman Mike is saying advent of cyber is a scam. Uh, many who never got their prizes, just excuses. All right. Imagine free training being a scam lol. Yeah, Eric Ream saying that uh, he's also heard Try Hack Me's uh, prizes are a bit BS. TryHackMe.com is one of the best, most cost-effective ways to obtain hands-on practical cybersecurity skills. They offer a wide variety of learning paths that map to specific career opportunities, and many of the lessons are available for free. TryHackMe.com's advent of cyber contests, however, their holiday advertising push, and seemingly a major source of customer acquisition can be characterized as a scam. In short, they promised over $40,000 worth of prizes and often delivered excuses instead. A company that fails to distribute contest prizes runs the risk of violating multiple laws, including consumer protection laws, advertising laws, and contract law, often committing fraud in the process. In this video, I'll share my experience as an advent of cyber contest winner, and you can decide for yourself what laws, if any, were broken. In 2022, because of multiple health issues, I'm so sorry, it's the moops. I had intended to pivot to a high demand career that offered the possibility of remote work. I joined Springboard's cybersecurity bootcamp, a review is in the offing, by the way, and my mentor had suggested I augment my training with Hack the Box and or Try Hack Me. Learning about THM's advent of cyber, I convinced my nephew, eight at the time, to join the contest. We went to work learning cybersecurity and answering the challenges, each of which earned a ticket in the contest's raffle. Desperate for a win and eager to teach my nephew the importance of work ethic and education, I earned the maximum number of tickets. Despite having never won a raffle before, for some reason, I fully expected to win. And I did. I had won a Hack 5 rubber ducky, a bad USB. It was a nice reprieve from my constant health-related losing streak, but the reprieve wouldn't last long. Hoping to continue my and my nephew's education, I bought Hack 5's rubber ducky learning course for about $50. But the bad USB itself never arrived, and in its place, I received a series of excuses from TryHackMe employees throughout the remainder of 2023. I emailed Jabba for the first time in February, asking for a status update. Here is his reply. Next month, the reply was After that, the reply was My health worsened and I didn't pursue the issue in May, June, or July and didn't hear back until August. What do you think THM will say in this email? What excuses will they give for not fulfilling their legal obligations? If advent of cyber is a scam, they'll likely say what all scammers say when they're found out. We had the best of intentions. It's not our fault. We're the victim of circumstances. We partnered with the wrong people. We're going to do better. I received a lengthy excuse from Gonzo this time. Hi, Michael. Firstly, we sincerely apologize for the delay with your prize. We want to be transparent with our users. So here are some of the reasons for the delays. We have encountered many issues that are out of our control. Some products have been out of stock and very hard to order. Some vendors didn't allow us to make purchases in multiple countries. And some refuse to send out their products to specific regions of the world. We have tried our best to get these prizes sent out these past months. But unfortunately, we couldn't make it happen for your prize. After discussing these issues internally, we have decided that the best option for you is an Amazon voucher worth the same amount as your prize. Jim Henson had a wait and see attitude and look what happened to him. Now we've got wrong sounding Muppets. These excuses weren't reasonable given the delay, but they were at least plausible up until this point. What's not reasonable or plausible from this point on would be any excuses about not being able to remit the card or cash equivalent. The seasons changed once again. And winter gave spring and summer a miss and went straight on into autumn. <sighs> until one day. In October, I received the following email. Note that it's no longer from a person, but support, and there's no personalization this time around. This is likely a mass email that went out to multiple prize losers. And then only eight days later, this email claiming that if we don't act soon, we will forfeit our winnings. I responded, hi, I was supposed to receive a Hack5 rubber ducky. Please send the cash equivalent, ADUSD, to my PayPal email address. In November, less than a month before advent of Cyber 2023, 
Jabber wrote, <laughs> Nearly a year later, can the claim of looking to send the fun soon, followed by a smiley face, be read as anything other than sarcastic? It was time to take matters in my own hands. I filed complaints with the Better Business Bureau, the FTC, and the Bureau of Consumer Frauds and Protection. But Cyberspace Man Mike, I hear you say, TriHackMe is a UK company. Those agencies don't have jurisdiction. Objection. Generally, states have the authority to regulate commerce within their borders, including online commerce. In tandem with these efforts, I reached out to other YouTubers who hosted Advent of Cyber Challenges, asking them to reconsider their partnership and spread the word of THM's malfeasance. Nearly all of the YouTubers failed to notice my comments or chose to ignore them. But one YouTuber heeded the call. Gerald Auger of Simply Cyber. Faced with more than $80 of bad publicity, THM remitted to me the cash equivalent of a Hack 5 rubber ducky the very next day. THM could have done this at any time in 2023, but chose not to until it was obvious there were going to be consequences for THM. In my opinion, it was THM's strategy to stall until people gave up their prize claims. And if you think that's a less than generous interpretation, check out their new rules for the 2020 advent of cyber. It seems like THM wants to be able to change the rules at any time and also they want the option to break their own rules without having to suffer legal repercussions, to the extent allowed by law of course. Where are we now? I'm not currently advocating TriHackMe be banned from doing business in New York or any other state despite what is, in my opinion, likely legally provable fraud. Now that I've received my money... <laughs> I expect to live stream THM learning paths in the near future. And if you are an Advent of Cyber Contest winner or know of a contest winner who hasn't been made whole, please get in contact with me on the Cyberspace Man Mike Discord channel and I'll work on adding you to a collective mediation action. In the end, because I never received the Hack 5 rubber ducky, my nephew and I never completed the accompanying learning course. Seemingly disillusioned by the disconnect between winning a prize and never actually receiving a prize, my nephew has since lost all interest in cybersecurity education.